Hey Nabu fans, today we're going to deal with a vexing problem that I have. As it turns out, well, I'm going to show you what the problem is first before I tell you. Uh, last night uh, I'm fiddling with my newly made cable for DJ's cycle. And I have this nice little laptop here, which is an old 2 gig laptop that I turned into Ubuntu because it could no longer update Windows. And it's nice because it has kind of a, a touch screen that I can start and stop DJ software pretty easily. So that's kind of cool. Um, but the problem is, is that when I try to access the cable, it's looking good. It's loading. Everything is cool. And we have our Nabu. Let's skip the animation for now. And it says optional package press go. And you can see what it's doing here is it's asking for segment 191, which for any subscriber is the message segment. Well, in this case, whoever has this menu, it's the message segment. So I can't get past. I can press go all I like, and I can never make it to the menu. Really lousy. So I'm going to leave it like that for now, because I like Hubert and I like leaving it up on the screen. Um, but what I dis when DJ and I were talking, what we discovered is, is that um, the, the entry point for the ROM is dependent on the ROM that he has. So he mailed me the ROM and I noticed that he, he the ROMs that he sent me in, in the binaries are not ROMs that I have. So I started, to, I decided to open up every single machine I have, all six of them that are here. And uh, I wanted to see what the situation was. So, but in order to facilitate this process, I numbered my machines with little stickers. So when you see me, you can see this is machine one. Uh, moving around, if you're asking me in comments, could you, you know, show me this on machine one, then I'll know which one to refer to because now I have six of them out. Um, but let's take a look at its ROM. And it's, let's get it to focus on the ROM. Come on. 9003-7150 version 29. Whew. Okay, that's the biggest version number I've seen so far. I don't know if that's old or new, but then I can go over to machine two, and this is the machine that I actually want to use. And this guy says 9002-0060 Rev B. Now I've seen uh, offered online Rev A for this. This is the floppy, uh, because let's see, that has a floppy controller here. So, I guess I have a later version, but it still doesn't work with uh, DJ software. Interesting enough. So machine three is way over here. And there's something, this is dusty and needs, it's rusty and rusty and the whole bit. But I, I removed the ROM from here because I'm going to show you that in a sec. This is machine three. But it also, if you look, there's a, uh, right on the motherboard, there's this jumper for, for the selection of the 4k or 8k rom so this is like kind of like a development machine for sure since somebody was probably pulling the roms in and out of it and it's got the old paper ribbon cable that was old for the floppy disk controller and it's also one of those 25 pin high, uh, uh, high density disk controllers um, that, that, that uh, translate to the 37 pin or db40 or whatever it was db37 i think it was um so let's see that was machine three this is machine four which also is not bad but here's the rom version 14. So, let's see machine five Just flip over and 9002060 rev b so that i have two of the same but still none that anybody else has and slide over to this one here we go oh this one says version 17. Yikes. Okay, so I've got a lot of different versions, so I figured that I might as well start dealing with them. And uh, to that end, I got some uh, uh, this, this little reader. And this was the one that was in machine 3, and it's marked CPM. So fortunately, whoop, fortunately it's, uh, it's, it's able to read them. So like I, I tested that process, so I can say read, and it reads them. And I can save it. And I've already saved this particular one, Abu CPM bin ROM, or ROM bin. So I'm going to do that to all of these guys. I'm going to use this really crappy IC puller, because that's all I have right now. Um, and I'm going to ease them all out. So I'm not going to do a long 
video showing me suffering for the next little while. Uh, and But it's clearly it's it, the, the reading process is nice and quick. So that's great. And then, I'll, and then what I'll do is I've got some uh, 2732s on order. Uh, I couldn't find 2765s. Or sorry, 2764s. Um, so I'm going to base. Uh, I'm going to end up burning some of the uh, the current ROMs that I know will work with DJ software, and then I'll be, I'll plop it into this guy here. Um, uh, what else? Oh, so that's not all. As Steve Jobs would say again, one more thing. Take a look at that. So I've recovered Pac-Man, Qbert, Minor 2049er. Some mattering of other stuff and my development hard drive, which has the COM programs for doing stuff. And on my development hard drive, there's some other stuff that's funny. But uh, i got to uh, 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 curate that junk and turn it into something that's readable and try to document it. But there's Nebu's uh, Pac-Man part number, uh, 73900344420. And there's my name, Elbankowski. Cool. And as you can see, I, the original development machine was a NAB 1100 under something called MCP, which was a modified version of CPM, um, and in, in, in an odd to Tron, calling it MCP because we all watched it that summer. Um, but otherwise, it, it was based it was it was CPM, uh, just and running on eight-inch floppies. And we'll talk a little bit about that another time. But as you can see, things are motoring. But I got I got got sidetracked with these ROMs. Uh, so anyway. Um, Thanks a lot for listening. Uh, if you have any questions about any individual machines and, and pictures and that kind of stuff, uh, I'm probably going to send the ROMs to Santo, so vintagecomputer.ca will probably be where they'll be somewhere you can download them. So uh, uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to deal with them as soon as I can.